What is up, YouTube? I know I said I wasn't going to make this figure it out Friday, but I lied. I got something I can make for you and uh, send out. Um, here with me today is my mom. <laughs> Say hello. Hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mom. Um, I made it home safe and in one piece. And, you know, as y'all saw from my videos, last week I was stuck on the East Coast um, in the snowstorm and couldn't go anywhere. And from that time, I've been to California, and then I made it back home within about a week and a half. So, um, the interesting life of a truck driver. <laughs> um, as my mom can tell you, you know, I'm always gone. She misses me a lot. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but see la vie, such is life. All right, so for this Figured Out Friday, I'm going to go over um, the brake integrity test, brake integrity check, um, leak down test. Whatever you want to call it, it's all the same thing. It's real simple to do. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to make sure your truck is on. Mine's already on. And um, make sure your brakes are off. Oops, hold on a second. Do, 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 do. Had a brain fart. Didn't think about this. All right, there we go. <laughs> so, you want to make sure your brakes are in. Um, I'm kind of on an incline, so I'm going to leave my trailer brake on, but if you were really to do this, you would chalk your wheels and have both brakes um, disengaged or pushed in. But since I'm kind of on a hill, I'm leaving the trailer brake on so I don't roll nowhere. But parking brake off. So you want to look on your, your air meter gauge here, and it usually sits around 125. Um, since I've been messing with my brakes, it's kind of lost some air. But when you push your brakes in, you should lose no more than 125 PSI. And then um, to uh, do your leak down test, you uh, just hold your brake down. Pick a nice number, you know, 50, 75, or you can just push the brake all the way down. My, my truck maxes out at 85 PSI. And if you have a stopwatch or something, you just want to count down to, um, you know, a minute uh, or 30 seconds. But one minute is the uh, is what the DOT is going to ask you to do. So after 60 seconds, you should lose no more than um, 5 PSI. And then, um, yeah. My needle hasn't moved. It just started moving because my my leg got tired and I started letting up. But that is the leak down test. Now your brake integrity test is um well I guess that is it's the same thing. But um, another test you can do to kind of ties in with it is um you want to see if your alarm goes off at 60 psi, which mine just did. Um, if my truck was running, it would be beeping, um, you know, beep, 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 beep. Um, actually, it might start doing that if I go a little bit lower. These gauges are really accurate, so, um, yeah. So if I start the truck, it'll, it'll beep a lot. But, um, once you get down to, um, about 25 psi your brakes should pop out there it goes bam and um, that happened right as I was at 25 so that's how you know your emergency brakes work your air systems good blah 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 so that's that th that's this figured out Friday and um, as always be safe out there and be water my friends what do you want to say Say Happy birthday, to... Michael! <laughs> Mama love you! Well, that's to me. That's not to them. What do you want to well, say? Have to a them? good day. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Peace. <clears throat>